So first what you're gonna need is the lace itself, a nice amount of space. Next you're going to need these heat resistant sheets. You can pick these up at Amazon or any of the hardware store. They're basically sheets that don't have much to them, but what's great about them is that they, again, they're heat resistant, so you're gonna need those for this because if you don't have this underneath, you're going to run the risk of burning your fabric. And why do I say that? We'll see in a minute. So what you're gonna use is something called a soldering iron. It looks a little bit like this. Again, it's something you can pick up in your local hardware store, but I gotta tell you, this is no joke because it gets extremely hot. So there's like heat coming off this right now. It gets very hot. Um, it comes with its own little stand and you wanna make sure that you don't lose this because it's kind of important so that you don't lay it on anything to get burned. It has a bit of a, a smell to it. Again, it's heat and you're using it on fabric, so it's not gonna come off seamless without any sort of smell to it. You wanna make sure it gets as hot as it can possibly get. The hotter it is, the more it moves through the fabric, kind of like butter. Okay. When you have a good handle on it, it's really simple to just, as you can see, run along the fabric. And I discovered this method quite recently, let's say within the last year or so, and it's made like a huge difference in my designing only because There it is. And then we use, remember these are tiny scissors and we just use these and we go in and we clean everything up. So we kind of pull away and we clean all the excess areas up so that it's a nice clean. So what you wanna do first is you wanna make sure you have all your pieces pre-cut and that way you don't have to worry about constantly going back in the course of it. And it also helps you to map out exactly where you're going to put each piece. So if they're already cut out, you know exactly how you want it to look. And with the aid of pins, you can sort of continuously rearrange where that applique is gonna go. So for my design, I kind of had it going along the hip area and the same for the back. So I'm just gonna continue with